So we all know that one of the key factors of Barcelona's success this season and recovering from Bartomeu's era is of course Xavi Hernández in terms of sports results. But there is one person that is helping Xavi Hernández succeed and is in the office. And that person, guys, is Mateo Alemán. Because Mateo Alemán, since his arrival, he has done wonders with Football Club Barcelona. And all of this in one of the worst economical conditions in the history of the club, if not the worst, because we all know that Bartomeu completely destroyed Barcelona. But since his arrival, Mateo Alemany has been able to get Barcelona back on track. He is indeed a very smart man with good negotiating skills and a lot of the experience in football, guys. A lot of experience. And look at this, guys. In fact, since his arrival, we got rid of, for example, Emerson Royal for 25 million when we just signed him for literally 14. Therefore, literally in a matter of days, we made about 11 million profit, thanks to Mateo Alemán and his negotiating skills. We got rid of Junior Firpo for 15 million euros on to Leeds. Also, Todibo, 8.5 million euros to Nice. That was a good deal, Mateo. That was a good one. Ma um, also, Aleña, Carles Aleña, for 5 million to Getafe. Not bad, not bad. They're getting the cash. Also, we loaned some players. For example, Trincao, we loaned them to Wolverhampton. And we got 6 million euros for the loan. Man, massive, massive. Mateo Aleman, the daddy. Also, loaned out Pjanic, which was one of the worst signings or swap deals by Bartomeu, which an incredible salary he was earning. We did manage uh, to loan him to Besiktas, although only uh, a 50% salary um, that Besiktas is paying. The other half we are paying. But still, uh, Pjanic was doing nothing in Barcelona. Uh, of course, at last, uh, Griezmann for 40 million euros being loaned to, to Atletico de Madrid with a mandatory buy option. That was like literally the Chapo deal. And at last, the latest was Coutinho, guys. Coutinho, we know that unfortunately he, he just wasn't making it here in Barcelona. He's a great player. And we loaned him out uh, with uh, Aston Villa playing, uh, paying for their salary and also having a 40 million euro buy option, you know? So this was the departures of Mateo de Daddy Alemán. Very good. We, we didn't get, we, we did indeed get a lot of money but also um, look at the arrivals guys look at the arrivals we of course got Ferran Torres for 55 million euros which I think is a good deal because he's a very young player with a lot of talent being coached by Guardiola Luis Enrique in the national team and now Xavi man this guy is gonna be incredible but but guys that's the only signing that we paid for that's the only signing I mean look at this we got Aubameyang for free from Arsenal, Abomeyang, um, top scorer in the Bundesliga and in the, and in the Premier League, for free. Depay, top European player, for free. Agüero, man, unfortunately had to retire, but we got him for free. Eric Garcia from Man City, also youngster, promising, La Masia talent, for free. Luke De Jong, he came on uh, as a loan for, for six months, also for free, also for free, guys. Adama Traoré. Also, for free, we got, literally, we got 6 million for Trincao from Wolverhampton, and now we're getting Trincao for free on a loan. Sorry, not Trincao, Adama Traoré for free on a loan. And, of course, we have a buy option, but a 30 million euro buy option, we're not going to execute it as easy as that. And at last, Dani Alves as well for free. Uh, this, this, this is literally what Mateo Alemán has already executed, and it's official. But look at this, because, guys, Next season, this summer is coming, and apparently Mateo De Daddy has already made a couple signings, which of course Christiansen for free as well. I mean, literally, guys, it's all for free, man. It's a job. Kessier for free. Both of these players are around 40 million euro market value, but Mateo for free. They're all coming to Football Club Barcelona. Maybe who knows? Azpilicueta could be online. Lewandowski, Haaland, who knows? Who knows? Who could be the next signing of Mateo de Daddy Alemán? Guys, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, not only signings, but also renewals. Renewals. We just renewed Araujo. He's going to be renewed for three years, only for 4 million euro per season. And the talent of Araujo is incredible. Gabi, for example, renewal. We're fighting Dembele. Maybe we can renew Dembele. And also, maybe some departures. Sergio Roberto. Uh, maybe. Uh, Oh, the deal is not there anymore. 
Ah, the deal is not there anymore, Sergio Roberto. I think he's going to be end up leaving. So, guys, let me know in the comments down below which player would you want Mateo de Dadi Alemán to get to Football Club Barcelona, of course. Let's be realistic. I would want Mbappé, Haaland. I would, buy, I would want everybody. Let's be realistic. Let me know who would you bet Mateo, Adi, uh, Mateo de Dadi Alemán to bring to Football Club Barcelona now. And as I always say, Pisca al Barça, Pisca Cataluña, and see you in the next video.